welcome to the new studio. I finally moved a few weeks ago, um, hence the delays in all the uh, video output because everything was all packed up for a while, as I mentioned before. So I'm finally in and I have this whole space to convert into a, a studio stroke man cave stroke gaming room in the future. Obviously there's a lot of work to do. I'll take you on a little look around in a minute, but the idea will be to turn this into an area where I can edit, where I can record and also uh, a comfortable area to actually play some games uh, as well. This is a integrated garage uh, near our property. Uh, it's not directly attached to the property. It's uh, actually underneath another property where there's like a few garages on a modern estate. But the power is directly linked to our property. And so um, things like power line adapters work great in here. So I've got a great internet connection in here. Being a newish house, so about 15 years old, the, the cables are nice and new and clean. So I'm getting a good, good upload and download speeds in here, so which means I'll be able to do more because I've got the space and I've got you know the area to convert as and as and when I want. So my idea will be not only to carry on doing the videos, but hopefully some live streaming, uh, things like that at some point because I've got the uh, the, the space here. Now. I'm still working out all the the little details, but um, the idea will be to decorate this a little bit, get it tidied up a bit, because it obviously is designed to be used as a garage. But I will be um, getting better lighting put in and some more um, power sockets, so I'm going to need those first of all. And then the idea will be to decorate, fill in a few gaps uh, where necessary and put in a nice floor some soundproofing and stuff like that because it's quite um, quite a hollow sounding sound at the minute with it being quite bare bones. But spectacularly, it's I couldn't believe how much space I've got because I've got loads of, got all my stuff in here plus some bits that still need to be sorted out because of obviously the new house move uh, that need to go. But I've got tons of space, uh, it's kind of, as you'll see in a minute, it's, it's got some existing um, storage space anyway, so it should work out pretty good. Let's have a quick look around. Right, so this is the the main part of the the garage. So this is the obviously the front door. It's just one of these slide up garage doors, uh, which I thought might become an issue, but. Um, looking at it it uses this slide over the top sort of scenario thing and to be fair once the door is closed it doesn't really get in the way you know this is I can easily get under this bar and I can utilize all of the space all the way up up until the door really as long as it's under this it's not going to cause a problem so it not might might not be as, as much of an issue as I thought. Now, the door itself, it needs a good finish, I think, because if you look at certain things here, for example, it's, they've not really, they've cut a few corners and they've built this. There's lots of gaps, lots of gaps at the top where the, um, the frame is. So, and obviously needs a good clean because it's full of spiders, but um, I'm hoping I can add a bit more soundproofing by getting rid of some of these gaps along here all the way around and I need to put in a seal at the bottom because you know there is a bit of a gap under there and maybe some soundproofing on the actual back of the door should sort this issue out sorry for the handy handheld camera work here but yeah in terms of space it's huge so I'm stood right at the back here and it gets the door and there's loads of room. So if we move forward, there's some typical garage sort of storage already in place, which I've managed to store all my equipment on. I've got loads of these Ikea um, bits of furniture from the, from the old house. 
some desks, my old desk there. I've set everything up here for now, but I think what I'm going to do eventually is use that as a, as a workbench because it's got that nice um, shelf at the top so I can do some overhead camera work there and use obviously this area here once it's all cleaned up and painted for organized storage and then possibly have this area here for the desk. I'm keeping this, this settee from the old house and the idea for this will be to have an area to sit uh, opposite a larger screen and maybe some consoles there uh, and play some games that way. Like I said, I'm going to need to increase the uh, capacity for the power because at the minute I've got two sockets which run all the way to the back here. Obviously one I need to keep free for the uh, power line adapter because it needs to run off the off the actual direct socket. It can't be um, can't be plugged into an extension because it doesn't work very well. But that is working perfectly. I'm getting great great connection and also I've extended my Wi-Fi into here. So ideally I'll have some sockets along here and here. Could maybe a couple on this side. And then I can set it up properly. The lighting is terrible. As you can see it's one little lamp. But obviously these these spaces were designed to be used with the with the door open presumably so you wouldn't need as much light in the day but with the door closed and even with my uh, lamp a studio lamp here it's not the, the lighting isn't great so the idea will be to get obviously a better lighting maybe a, some LED strip lights at the top here to improve that once I've got all that sorted um, I'm looking to paint and decorate in here a little bit, make it look, look a little bit tidier. I don't mind the industrial look, but I'm probably obviously going to paint the walls properly. Somebody had an attempt at painting some of it already, but uh, didn't quite finish. And then fill in the little holes that are in a lot of the, the corners, especially where the cabling has gone in. There seems to be a lot of holes. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll get on to soundproofing. So I'm going to look at um, options for that, but a lot of those uh, pads, those foam pads seem to be popular uh, to get the sounds, deaden the sound a little bit. And the flooring, probably going to go with that garage sort of flooring that um, Neil at RMC has used like little jigsaw pieces that you can put together so then I can create a little bit of better floor down here because this floor is a little bit a bit worse for wear it's nice and solid it's a nice solid area so I'm really pleased and I'm looking forward to get cracking with this if anybody's got any suggestions or any recommendations if you've done a garage sort of a garage conversion yourself I'd love to hear your thoughts but basically that is the area. Yeah, so this is it. I'm looking forward to getting cracking on with this. And in the meantime, I should be able to uh, start doing a few more videos as I've got the facilities available. But we shall see. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little tour and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye.